Hey guys, it's Chris. From a fish that slurps down snakes to a sea pig that roams the ocean floor, plus the most horrifying fruit bat you've ever seen, here are 10 bizarre animals that actually exist. Number 10, snake eating fish. Let's talk about the fish that has been caught eating a snake. Many of you may have seen this viral video online, showing what looks like some kind of big mouth trout slurping up a giant eel or snake, or at least trying to. By absolutely no account should this terrifying thing exist. Fish are not supposed to eat snakes, that's just not the way it goes. And while there is not much information anywhere online about what species of fish is witnessed in this video, it's safe to say that it's a freak of nature. What's even stranger is that this fish couldn't even eat the entire eel. It managed to swallow most of it into its fat fish guts, but it was simply too big. The eel then managed to escape in the water and get away, and the fish went back about its business. But the fact that this fish could suck up an eel so effortlessly is kinda ridiculous. In fact, the last thing you want when you're sitting at the beach is a fish that can suck up your toes. Talk about horrifying. Number 9. Legless Amphibian Speaking of eels, let's check out a new legless amphibian discovered in the Cardamom Mountains of Cambodia. As a rule of thumb, there should be just two types of amphibians. There can be the kind with legs, and then there can be snakes. But this new species is a total abnormality. It's a kind of limbless amphibian that isn't a snake, known as a Sicilian. Larger species can grow to be around 4 to 5 feet in length, and they live specifically in Southeast Asia, mostly in Cambodia and Vietnam. You'll probably never run into one of these weird animals. They look almost like earthworms, but they're way, way bigger. They also have a skull and bones, which worms certainly do not. They also aren't dangerous, even though people often mistake them as snakes. They survive solely on a diet of termites, ants, and other small invertebrates like earthworms. Number 8. Tube-nosed fruit bat here is another animal that seems like it really shouldn't exist. There are enough bats out there without the bizarre tube-nosed fruit bat flying around freaking people out. While fruit bats are already kind of weird, this one takes it to a new level. This is mainly because of its weird face. The bat has yellowish-brown wings, deadly eyes, and a nose that looks like a pair of tubes. Its nose is Y-shaped, with tubular nostrils that measure up to 6 millimeters in length and are angled at more than 90 degrees. The result is something that looks absolutely absurd. While all bats are indisputably gross, this one is definitely the ugliest. It lives mostly in the forests and swamps of Southeast Asia, and it eats mostly figs and other small fruit. It also sometimes accidentally eats insects that are already sitting on the fruit. Usually these bats pick up their favorite fruits or figs after dark, then carry them off to a preferred feeding roost away from other bats. During the day, they hide in the foliage. The only good thing about the tube-nosed fruit bat is that you'll probably never encounter one. Number 7. Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko I'm not sure who named the Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko, but it does seem like a strange choice. The gecko definitely looks like a leaf, and it even has a tail that looks exactly like a fallen leaf from a tree, with the same grooves and everything. But in no way does it seem satanic. In fact, I'm sure they could have just dropped the first part and have left it as the leaf-tailed gecko. Would have been a nicer name, but in any case, this is definitely the weirdest gecko on the planet. It really does look just like a leaf. How this thing managed to evolve with the exact color pattern of fallen leaves is an undeniable miracle. And there isn't just one type of satanic leaf-tailed gecko. There are several different species, and each one has a different color and a different texture of skin depending on the kind of foliage they live in. Some are red, some are brown, and some are the dead color of fallen leaves. Even stranger is that they have massive eyes with no eyelids. Rather than eyelids, the gecko will lick its eyeballs to keep them clean. Like most geckos, these ones live in the trees. They have toes made up of millions of tiny little plates that help them stick to stuff, and they have curved claws for additional grip. They hunt at night, eating mostly insects and small rodents. Basically, this gecko will eat anything it can manage to overpower. And just like most of the animals we'll talk about today, you'll probably never see a satanic leaf-tailed gecko in the wild, because they literally do look like leaves. If you thought chameleons were the masters of camouflage, well then you hadn't met the leaf-tailed gecko. Number 6. Desert Rain Frog one might argue that the desert rain frog looks like a puffer fish that grew legs and crawled up onto the land. This tiny little animal is only two and a half inches long and looks like a dog's chew toy, but their physical weirdness is only the beginning of the story. When a wildlife photographer traveled to South Africa, he was not expecting to stumble upon this bizarre frog and make the discovery of a lifetime. 
He was one of the first to capture the horrifying noise made by this small and oddly round frog. He managed to get a video of this thing, and it basically broke the internet in 2013 with over 17 million views. The desert rain frog doesn't croak or ribbit like you might think. Instead, it squeaks with a sound like a chew toy. It lets out a long and piercing squeak that has since earned it the title as the cutest frog in the world. The desert rain frog is not poisonous, it's not aggressive, and it's not really that big either. The only ability it has is an absolutely insane squeaking noise that it makes to ward off predators and tell nosy photographers to go away. They also spend most of their time buried in the sand to stay hydrated. So don't really bet on seeing one on your next trip to Namibia. Number five, the shoebill. Almost every list of animals that shouldn't exist includes the shoebill, and for good reason. This is the scariest, ugliest, and most horrifying bird on the planet, and for way more reasons than one. First, the bird is taller than a mailbox. It can stand nearly five feet with a wingspan of about eight feet. This massive bird would definitely give you a heart attack if you saw one standing at the edge of your driveway. Honestly, there are almost too many weird facts to talk about when it comes to the shoebill. The main thing is its gigantic bill. Some people have compared its bill to a traditional Dutch wooden shoe, and yeah, they do kind of look similar. According to the San Diego Zoo, the shoebill uses its giant face as a container for fish, as a bucket to soak its eggs with, and as a musical instrument. The shoebill will clap its bill to make horrible noises that scare away predators and attract females. But once a shoebill finds a mate, don't expect these ugly birds to be very affectionate. Even when they are paired with another bird, they feed at opposite ends of their territory, which is the bird equivalent to sleeping in separate bedrooms when you're married. Number 4. Sea Pig The sea pig doesn't really look like a pig at all. It kind of looks like… well, there isn't really much to compare it to. Maybe a cross between a sea cucumber and a pig? They're honestly just really strange. Sea pigs are either horrifying or adorable, depending on who you're talking to. They have elongated tubes for legs, with what appears to be translucent tentacles sticking out of their face. They also seem to have four antennae sticking up from their body. And while it's probably their posture that reminds people of land pigs, sea pigs are actually sea cucumbers. According to Ocean Conservancy, the sea pig is a special type of sea cucumber closely related to starfish and sea urchins. They grow to be about six inches long and closely resemble a bloated sausage filled with water. And also, here's a fun fact, they breathe out of their butts. The good news is that you will never have to meet one of these bizarre sea pigs because they live from anywhere between 4,000 and 16,000 feet below the surface of the ocean. This has actually made them very difficult to study. Most scientists believe that sea pigs use their various face tentacles to search for food while they wander across the ocean floor. Also, they don't have many predators because their skin is laced with poison. That's handy. Number 3. The Blue Dragon The Blue Dragon has been referred to as a real-life Pokemon. And even though it kind of looks like a small blue and purple dragon floating across the bottom of the ocean, it's actually a slug. And by no means should any slug on Earth look the way this one does, it's absolutely ridiculous. And while it may appear large in the photos, the blue dragon only grows to be about an inch long. They hang out at the bottom of the ocean feeding on leftovers just like any slug you would put in your fish tank. However, when they're feeling brave, these slugs will float upside down in warm ocean currents and feast on small venomous jellyfish by grabbing them with their blue feet. But what's really terrifying about the blue dragon is that after one has fed on a venomous jellyfish, they can unleash all of that venom by stinging somebody. So if you happen to be splashing around on the beach at the same time one of these slugs is floating by with a bunch of venom stored in its body, it really could sting you just like a jellyfish. Number 2. Blue-Footed Bobby The blue-footed bobby is probably the coolest bird you've never seen. It has the bluest feet of any animal ever. In fact, there is no mistaking the blue-footed bobby for any other bird. They live in the Galapagos Islands, and their brightly colored feet have made them one of the most intriguing natural attractions in the area. There are three different species of them found in the Galapagos. They're large, with ordinary bodies of white and black hair, but it's their giant blue feet that really make them stand out. According to Galapagos Conservation, females will choose a male partner based on the brightness of their feet. That means that the bird with the bluest feet will have the best chances of mating. Imagine if you could put on some really bright sneakers and snag a girlfriend in five minutes flat. That'd make for a really interesting dating app profile picture. But that's what life is like for the blue-footed bobby. Number 1. The White Rhino 
If you think about it, the rhinoceros is basically a fat unicorn with two short horns. Honestly, a rhino is really just a shorter and heavier horse with gray skin and two horns. It's basically a mutant unicorn. And while the fact that rhinos exist has always been fascinating, they don't really exist any longer. Specifically, the white rhinoceros has reached the end of its long and strange life on our planet. The very last male white rhinoceros died in 2018. And even though there are still two females left, the big issue is that obviously two females can't mate and create babies. They aren't snails. But according to CNN, scientists are trying very hard to save the white rhino by artificially fertilizing in vitro embryos from the last two lady rhinos. But even if this works and one white rhino is born, there's still a pretty good chance that the white rhino will never make a recovery. After all, these beautiful creatures have always been too amazing to have existed in the first place. How do you feel about these freaky creatures? And what do you think about the unfortunate white rhino? Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you again soon for another amazing video.